So a lot of people assume that the females in the traveller communities are forced into being a housewife. That's mm -hmm. their choice. Yeah, it's a personal choice. On today's episode, we'll be talking about education, employment, and what our 9 to 5 day looks like. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. Loads of people think that travellers don't go to school and have zero education, but every single traveller that I know of go to primary school. Like, that's just it. We all go to primary school. Some people go on to high school. Some people go on to have tutors at home. So a lot of people ask travelers like, why don't you go to school? Like, why Like, why, why do you, you have get to get tutored? tutored? Yeah. It's because there's a lot of bullying in school. Yeah, I think travelers have it hard. Like, I know from primary school, like some people would say some stuff to you. Like, I'm not even gonna say yeah, it. It's just like, it's just stupid things stupid that you shouldn't little say. Stupid things at school, but like people shouldn't pick on you just because you're a traveler. And I think it gets even more harder when you get to high school. Like, I know for us it was okay because we went to an all girls school, Catholic, you know, we focus on our studies. Do you know what I mean? So, but I know like a lot of people, they just, they like literally get into full on fights at school. People just think that it's okay to pick on you when you're different, but it's not. We went to an all girls Catholic secondary school in St. Albans. We both have all of our GCSEs. I was extremely shocked <laughs> yeah. when I went in. I said, is this right? I want to get Caitlin's GCSE result. What do you think you got? <laughs> Wait, what is, what does that mean? We really did work hard for our GCSEs. Yeah. You know, it's very important to us. We really did want a full education. And like, we were just really proud of ourselves, like yeah. on results day. Our school experiences, we have very different school experiences, <laughs> even though like we were like two years below each other. Mm -hmm. So like obviously we were at school at the same time. Yeah. So for me, my like, I hated it, literally hated it. Like wasn't the school work for me. Like I got on with that fine. I didn't have a problem with that ever. For me, it was more socially like, I came in through like halfway through year eight. Yeah. So it was really hard for me to make friends. It's an all girls school, so it's very intimidating. Um, so I like literally didn't have any friends. <laughs> That's so sad to hear. I know when I say it out loud, you're like, oh uh, yeah, whatever you did. I literally didn't have any friends. I would be in the library for like break time and lunch time. You know, after I went to I think for me the most embarrassing part was going to the canteen, getting my lunch and sitting by myself. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Caitlin would come in with her friends yeah. and like she'd come and like sit next to me with her brother. <laughs> <laughs> She oh, like, no. we, I would me. never believe her. She'd say, oh, I had to sit in the library by myself. Just, no, no like, you didn't. I don't I believe did. you. And then when I came in for year seven, I like obviously had my few friends. Like I met them. Mm -hmm. And then the next few days, like we were just hanging out and stuff. Yeah. And I said, oh, where's Liz? And then I said, oh, she goes to the library. And I was in the library. She was there on a the table <laughs> by herself. And I was like, oh my God. But it helped me focus like on skill yeah. and literally pass everything. In a way, like I think sometimes you just don't peak in high school yeah. like i feel like the people who peak in high school just that's it they don't you know i don't peak either <laughs> so i actually enjoyed secondary school the only thing i hated about it was obviously waking up early like yeah, who, who yeah who wants like to it. wake up early i think the second one was homework and then i think mm. i think when i was in year eight and nine I, i'd like developed the habit of doing my homework at school like i do in the yeah. library like every like yeah. time at the end of the week she come home and said i have so much mm -hmm. homework to do. and i was like you should have just done it at lunch or break time like me <laughs> you know like i'd go home with no homework to do and yeah. i loved that so i thought she wasn't given homework yeah so i think like yeah she yeah, <laughs> no, I, I think like, i taught yeah, her to do it like when you have time yeah. at school because it's not all about like having friends at school because yeah i don't have it <laughs> obviously i had friends in secondary school and they kind of like narrowed down over the years like especially when i left i've actually still only got like one friend from secondary school that's a non-traveler yeah well it's pretty um straightforward for me like i didn't have any friends in school, <laughs> so no i don't actually have any non-traveler friends now 
So yeah, yeah. that's about it. We would show you school photos. But that's not us anymore. Yeah, we no, look different. you look exactly the same. She's looked the same since birth. I yeah. just changed constantly. So I hate looking at old photos of myself. She wasn't even blonde. <laughs> so every traveler that I know of goes to school. Every single child goes to primary school. Some go to high school, some have tutors, some go to college to do apprenticeships. You know, there's like a mix of everything that someone's doing. Depends how important it is to them. If they know what they're doing after like school, then they won't even like go to college or anything like that. If you know what you're doing, what's the point in like of wasting your time? So a lot of people think that travelers can't read. We are in 2021. Yeah. I think if you never went to school, then you taught like yourself because yeah. social media is a big thing, you know, like I think you can teach yourself how to read yeah. anyway. Um, but I think like everyone goes to primary school, so that's where you learn how to read. But obviously there is people who can't read. Yeah. Mostly the older generation. Yeah, I think it's the older generation. I don't know anyone in the younger generation yeah. that can't read. What I did for my GCSEs, I did history, business, and food and nutrition. I was very interested in like food and nutrition, not yeah, because- she cooks all the time. Like she's the cook of the family. So and, like, like yeah. I met her <laughs> do food yeah. tests. did history, which we really, really love. Yeah. Like we always watch period I dramas obsessed with history i think mm. wherever i go to a, like a new place i'm like always researching the history about it which is so interesting to me we love the stories yeah. and the background and about like my it. favorite shows as well like in movies like that's my favorite movie people find it weird but i like old like it's not old movies but like they're set like yeah. hundreds of years ago. like not in favorite. the 20s or like the 50s no we want like, some stuff from the 1600s 1800s yeah. you know so for me what i studied for gcse was um, and I got a B in that, so I'm like really proud of myself. Um, I barely passed. And I did business. I really, really wanted to do yeah. business because I said one day I'm gonna have a business of my own. You know, me and Kate really like said like that's just in our mind. She mindset. did business and I also did business. Yeah, you know? we both did it. And I did textiles. You know, I love fashion. I'm not the best at sewing, <laughs> but I think like for me it's more the design part. Yeah. You know, I can imagine things and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna bring that to life. And then. Caitlin's more of you know she's like really, the brains I'm the brand yeah so I think of everything and then she like does it all yeah. so she like sew all the outfits together I like think of the outfits order the materials up the lot so after GCSE I went on to do A levels and I took sociology and I took business so I did it for a year and I was like this is not what I want to do I was just like it, it's not too late so I just dropped out of um, sixth form. So then I tried to do some online courses because like school wasn't working out for me. And I was studying interior design because I said, okay, I really want to fit houses. Yeah. So like that would be my dream. To, we like, still want to do that. Yeah, I still but... want to do that. But I don't know, it just for me, like I just, I have literally a low concentration. So I was like, no, this is not what I want to do. I like want to get my, like get my hands going. I want to do stuff, you know, physically. I really wanted to do modeling instead, you know. Yeah. Some people messaged me and I was like, oh, I can actually like make a career out of it. Yes, we have our own bank account. With real money. In yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> Independent, obviously like, yeah, we do. How's it gonna buy stuff? If I make money, it goes into my bank account because it's my money and I <laughs> earned it. It's my bank account. <laughs> so a lot of people assume that the females in the traveler communities are forced into being a housewife. That's mm -hmm. their choice. Yeah, it's a personal choice. I know m plenty of people who says, okay, do you want to go to school? Do you want like an education? Do you want a job? Chances are like they'll be like, yes or no. Do you know what I mean? It's not like you have to do this. You have no one come force you to do anything that you don't want to do. It was just their preference. Like they I remember to do. mommy was talking to us and she said, okay, do you want to go to school? Do you like further your education? And like, obviously I We're was like, yeah. like, I was like, okay. obviously it, it was our choice. So when I told her that I wanted to drop out of sixth form, she was completely understanding about that. And when Caitlin told her that she wanted to go to college, I've got cousins who like did courses at college. 
I know people who went on to do apprenticeships. I know people who just ended up getting married. Like it's a personal choice, I think, with anything in anybody's life. Everyone thinks that every traveler, female, woman, they're all housewives. Like, no, not anymore. Obviously we're in the 21st century, so everything is evolving. Mm -hmm. The whole world is evolving, different communities, ethnic groups, heritage, they're all evolving in different like rules. And yeah, years ago in the traveling community, you know, wives have their job. They stay at home, cook, clean, like take care of the children, men go out and work. And that was everyone. Yeah, like, years that was ago. everyone, I think. But and now it's just like, you know, if you want to pursue something, then go for it and do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no restrictions on your life. This is your life. You want to live it the way you want to live it. A lot of people are open, and I, some travelers aren't, but I think. If someone the majority, really, yeah, the majority, the majority are open, but I think if you really want to do something, like you'll go for it. They're the Real Housewives of Orange County, yeah, like they, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They, they have side jobs. Yeah. You know? If you ask someone what they want to do in life, and if their response is, you know, I want to get married, I want to have kids, then yeah. If they want a job, if they want their own business, like everyone has their own ideas now. So I don't think it's like really like oh all travelers are housewives. Yeah. No, like you'll get like a mix. So obviously, without an education, I know plenty of people who have like made it with the work front. Like I know loads of girls who are cleaners, so they earn their way through that. I know some girls who sell things online, you know, like outfits and shoes and stuff. Plenty of girls who are bloggers online, so they get gifted stuff like they're influencers and they're doing really, really well on social media. So I think times is changing, especially with social media as well. People are finding different ways to have a job and make money, you know, instead of actually like behind a desk, you know, secretary type. Okay, for me in school, I maybe I think it was about year seven, I was like, I wanna be a vet. Yeah, she loves animals to this day. Like if you see her walking on the street, if someone has a pet, she won't even know if it bites her and she'll go over to it. But th I think they just gravitate towards her. Like or the that, like, yeah, that like you're a dog person or you're an animal person. It doesn't matter what it is. But then I realized like- She doesn't like seeing them in pain. I'm very emotional when it comes to that. In school, I think it was Jackie yeah, or nine or something. I wanted to be a therapist. I want to listen to people's problems and get paid for it and Freaky Friday as well. But I'm not very good at giving advice. You'll be, and, you'll be having yeah. a conversation where she was like, what, what did yeah. you say? I'm like, I don't know, I'm too that? wrapped up in my own world. Like, I just don't. Like, She's a daydreamer. Yeah, I daydream. How am I supposed to give people advice if I can't even like, give <laughs> advice to myself? We're like currently in the social media career front. Like, we have TikTok, yeah. Instagram, YouTube. Yeah. And like, we're kind of like modeling. We're really getting into like the designing. fashion, designing, making clothes. I actually love making clothes. It's like one of my passions. Like, thinking of a new outfit that nobody else has worn and I know a lot of people love it like I actually wore an outfit that I made to stains yeah. I literally we were so in it because she was no, doing like, one leg was and I was doing the minute, other like like oh I'm gonna go here but I'm like yeah. what am I gonna wear and I had this idea and this design and I literally made it like half an hour before I was going like I already had the bits together, but like I was trying to finish it before I went. I was in the car, like stitching up my she leg. She was doing one leg, I was doing I, the other. It was my favorite outfit and everyone went mental for it. Like, like, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Like, and I was like, I made it. Mm. So it was really a proud moment for me. Now I've discovered my passions. Like I really want to get into like the singing game and like the acting yeah, game. Really good like singing. loads of people are saying on social media, like saying, wow, you should really pursue this. So that's like, that's the path that I want to go on mm -hmm. like currently now. Feeling you still blowing and still missing you in my game. See the end of it, just wanna feel your kiss against my lips. And now all this time is passing by, but I can't help but tell you why it hurts. And every time I see you, I realize how much I need you. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I know a lot of people's views and opinions correlate to stereotypes. And I like, hope we're like trying to break them down to you and like tell you what's true and what's false. Giving you like a yeah. little of more of an idea of what it really is like. If you have any questions, comment them down below. We will get back to you the best we can. 
On next week's episode, we'll be talking about relationships and how it's similar to the Netflix show Bridgerton. Yeah.